What is the maximum distance that a 2x6 floor joist can span without additional support? Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're going to discuss an important topic in the world of construction, specifically related to the usage of 2x6 floor joists. How far can a 2x6 floor joist span without additional support? Well, let's find out. What is a floor joist? Before diving into the main topic, let's briefly understand what a floor joist is. A floor joist is a horizontal support member running across the structure from wall to wall or wall to beam. They are often made of wood, engineered wood, or structural steel, and they help to maintain the structure's stability by supporting the weight of the floor above. Factors influencing joist span When it comes to determining how far a floor joist can span without additional support, several factors come into play. These include 1. The size of the joist. In our case, it's a 2x6. Two, 2. The species and grade of the wood. Different types of wood have different strength properties. 3. The loading conditions. The weight the joists are expected to carry, including the weight of the floor itself, the furniture, occupants, etc. Maximum span for a 2x6 joist. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter. According to most U.S. building codes for residential buildings, using Douglas fir or southern pine, a 2x6 floor joist can span up to 9 to 12 feet, 2.74 minus 3.66 meters, without any additional support, assuming the load is evenly distributed and the joists are spaced 16 inches apart. However, this can vary based on the factors mentioned in the previous section. Remember, these figures are general guidelines. For a precise and safe design, it's recommended to consult a professional engineer or use a span table designed for the specific conditions. And there you have it. We hope this information provides a helpful foundation for understanding floor joist spans, specifically regarding 2x6 floor joists. Remember, always consult with a construction professional when planning your build. Safety and structural integrity should be your top priority. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.